Some of us need to ask ourselves the question, whose mission am I on? Who's, am I, am I been leading my life by, by what I heard some preacher say and I don't remember his name and, and I don't remember the scripture that was attached to what he said and I don't remember any of that. I just remember he said such and such and so and so. But read the word of God. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, you know, as I get older, God has taught me. He said, he said, it's my job. To encourage you to read his word. There's power in his word. There's light in his word. Read, even if it doesn't make any sense to you, just keep reading. It will. It will. It will. And, and, and get, and if you don't understand this translation, get another translation. Get, just read the Word of God. And pray to the Lord. But then, you know, the other thing that trips me out about this passage is that, that it says when Jesus called to them, he said, he said, friends, have you caught any fish? And they said, no, we ain't caught none. He said, put your, he said, put your net on the right side. And he said, there's plenty of fish. And then they hauled in a net that had 153 fish in it. And then, and then the Lord said to them, he said, take some of the, he's, no, wait a minute. He said, he said, it, it said, the scripture says that the Lord had built a fire with some charcoal and he told them to bring some of the fish that they had and he said yeah, I'll put it on that fire now I, I, I just you know I just the, the thing that trips me out is that charcoal is used, the word for charcoal, the Greek word, I, I ain't that deep. Y'all have to ask my wife for the word, actually. But, but the word that is used in the Greek for charcoal is only used twice in the whole Bible. The first time it was used was, y'all remember when Peter said, and the Lord was talking about, he said, I, he said, they will, they will chastise me and they, and I will be crucified. And, uh, and Peter said, Peter shook him and said, Lord, far be it from you. Don't say things like that. And the Lord said, said, Peter, before the cock crows three times or four times, you shall deny me three times. For the cock. Yeah, I know he denied him three times. But, yeah, the, I, yeah. Yeah, 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 y'all, y'all good. That, see, they be, they be on me. They be, I gotta do my homework. See, Shaq, Shaq, <laughs> they be on it, and 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 <laughs> they said, and so, and then the next scene is not literally the next scene, but you can just kind of cross to the next scene that it shows Peter. And I love, I, my phrase for this is, Peter is warming his hands by the enemy's fire. Jesus has been arrested and Jesus is in the courtroom and Peter is out in the courtyard with the enemy all around him. And Peter is like, I'm just like everybody else. I'm just, I'm just warming my, and the word that they used for the fire said that the fire was built with charcoal. And that Peter was warming his hands and then somebody says, you know your accent, you sound like one of those who were with Jesus. He said, no, 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 I don't know him. Said, and then somebody else said, he said, no, I think that you were with it. He said, no, no. And then somebody else said, he said, no, I think that your accent betrayed you. You are with it. And then Peter started cussing. <laughs> uh, did I say something? Uh, <laughs> 
Peter started cussing them. That's, the, you know, the, just by the way, I just want y'all to know that the Lord is able to allow our other nature. And it's not good enough for you to allow your other nature to take over your mouth. All right, I'm done with that sermon. This, that, that, that Peter started cussing, and, and, and then the second time that the word charcoal is used is by this fire. And Jesus says, friends, come over and bring some of the fish that you caught. And he said, we'll put it on this fire. And it just messed with me. The word charcoal is such an unusual word. And, and I looked up the definition of charcoal, and, and I realized that people make charcoal drawings and, and such. And one of the things that I like about charcoal is the fact that if you make a mistake, you can turn your pencil over and erase what you just did and draw another line. And a lot of us in here need to draw another line. The lines that we've been drawing are not right according to God. The way that we've been living is not right according to God. And what you need to do is erase your past life. The Lord can do it. That's what I love about the Lord. The Lord can do it. But you've got to want to do it. I said you must want to do it. You must want to make a new direction in your life. You must want to follow this new leader in your life. You must desire with your heart of heart to make a new stride, to draw a different picture with your life. But you must want to. To do that and the Lord will allow you to erase and your sins shall never rise up to meet you a judgment you can erase I said no matter what you've done no matter where you've been no matter who you've hung with you can erase some of us need to erase some of those friends we've been hanging around with. Some of us need to erase some of those places that we've been going to. Some of us need to erase. Some of those words that we've said. But then the third point is this, that Jesus says to them, he says, friends, have you caught any fish? And then he says, he said, come bring some of your fish over with the fish I already have. And let's have some breakfast. Some of us, we need a new meal. But, the meal won't just be what the Lord has done, but you've got a few fishes too. Bring your fish and put them with Jesus' fish and have a shown up breakfast. You need to have a new meal in your life. You need to start your life out right. You need to start your new day out on the right foot. The breakfast of champions is a little fish from Jesus and a little fish from me. The Lord says that we're co-laborers with him. It does matter what you do. I'm sorry. I, I know I get confused about that grace part. And, and, and I will say that the first act is from God. God can make a way out of nowhere.